for the fans watching, man. What's your what's your top three songs from you? Well, let's dip into your catalog. What uh, what's what's your top, what's your top three songs from you? Uh, right now, I only got one album out and shit. Uh, it's called Chillmatic, and uh, I would say I got a lot of catalogs of songs that people haven't heard that and shit, you know. And uh, but so far as the songs that people can access, uh. My favorite three songs right now would have to be the song I got called Chillmatic that's named after the after the uh, actual album. That's the headline song. Uh, my other song called uh, Deuce Gucci Chains. I like that one a lot. And uh, I got another song called Dreaming. Uh, that song right there kind of kind of touch touch my heart a little bit. Yeah. Elaborate on that. Why it touch your why, why it touch your heart? Uh, I had a homeboy. It's crazy. I had a homeboy dog. Uh, he from Detroit, just like me. And uh, but we went to high school together and shit. He he. I stayed on Saint Albans. He stayed on March. And uh, back in the day, we used to call him Memphis because he had family back in Memphis and he stayed out there for a while and he used to come back here sounding like one of them niggas. Right? Alright, so we called him Memphis for a long ass time, nigga. And I fucked around and ended up having to move to Memphis. And I ended up bumping into that nigga there. You feel me? So we was like, you know, kind of click tight because he was like one of the only niggas that I knew that was from Detroit. You know what I'm saying? That I knew from my childhood. You feel me? So when I got there and I seen the nigga, I fucked around and bumped into him at a rallies, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It fucked me up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, uh, after that nigga, we was, like, kind of click tight, but uh, the police killed my nigga, though, in, uh, in 2018. And uh, right after that, I, 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 I wrote this song called Dreaming and shit. And uh, my homeboy, uh, Rico Santana, uh, I met him back in, like, 2007. Uh, I, I really think it was before the end. Um, we was we was we was young. It, it had to be before two. It was way before two thousand and seven. I can't even recall the years. Had to be like oh fuck. But uh, we went we went to job court together. But uh, he made the beat for me and shit. And uh, he based in Florida or Atlanta right now. I ain't really sure that nigga be moving around so much and shit. But uh, I made the song because my nigga got killed and shit. And I was just feeling so fucked up behind the song, man. I mean behind him dying. You know what I'm saying? Being and, and that shit happening to him, bro. The police killed my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I, I kind of went through some shit, and uh, I, I just felt like I had to elaborate on it. And the only way I, I really know how to express myself is through music. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. If you listen to that song, it's a lot of truth in that shit. You know what I'm saying? From beginning to end. You know what I'm saying? At, at the start, the start of that song, I said, uh. I was living in my grandmama basement, nigga, uh, bagging up ounces type shit, nigga. That shit true. I was living in my grandma's basement, niggas, on St. Harvard, nigga, bagging up O's, nigga, looking at the pictures on the wall, nigga, uh, of the artists, nigga, that I idolized. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like Blade Icewood. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like Big Hurt. Niggas like Twister. Niggas like Eminem. Motherfuckers like Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Like T.I. I had all them niggas' pictures across the wall, you feel me? Like, just wishing that I can have that type of life or, or at least be in the same type of lane in these niggas to earn that type of life, you feel me? So, uh, yeah, that dream of shit, man, it's a lot of shit behind that shit, bro. If you listen to that shit, bro, it's a lot of truth in that shit, bro. So what you got dropping next? What you, uh, what you working on? What can the, uh, the fans expect? Uh, right now, man, uh, uh, I'm working on the EP, man, and uh, the first album was called Chillmatic, and uh, this EP right here is going to be called Colder Than You, bitch. And, uh, other than that, I don't know how many tracks I'm going to put on it yet, but uh, it's going to be an EP, though, for sure. Who all going to be featured on it? What producers you get on it? What artists you uh, try to get on there? I ain't gonna have nobody featured on there, man. I had three features on my last uh, project and shit, man. And uh, they was all close people to me. My nigga BC, uh, my homeboy Fresh Hunnits, 
shit, uh, and my nigga loyalty. Um, but this project right here, I'ma have uh, no features. Uh, I might have maybe six songs on that motherfucker, maybe seven. I ain't decided yet. But uh, I'ma do the shit all by myself, and I'm working with one producer, and uh, his name is Jay Gibb. He from he based out of Memphis. You could uh, reach him on Instagram nine zero one. J Gill nine zero one. So tell people where they can follow you at. You know to to to, to get to get hit with your music and and, and to follow this wave you on man. Man shit uh, you can follow me on Instagram two c e underscore d u c e two two c e deuce. Uh shit, you can follow me uh. On anything so far as music, shit, you could download my music uh, on IG. I mean, shit, uh, what's that shit called? Fucking Spotify, uh, Apple Music, iTunes, nigga, Tidal, nigga, YouTube, nigga, shit, I'm everywhere, bro. Just look me up, 2 C E Deuce, 2 Code Entertainment Deuce, man. Shit, I'm around everywhere, bro. And I'm finna have this shit on lock. And I'm smacking y'all niggas across the head with these bars. Little bitch.